the Soundcore Motion Plus speaker. So previous firmware, 33 something, there was this bug. You put the two speakers into stereo, they were stereo locked. You then set your master to custom. You're hoping that your slave speaker would then pick up the custom setting that you already had in your master. The problem was it was going to base off mode. So next comes along firmware, 34. It appears that they fixed it. When you're listening to the left and right, you don't really hear much of a difference. Sounds to me, and I said it in my last video, like they fixed that bug, although they didn't actually say specifically that they did anything about the stereo in the firmware change log. Well, people are still asking. I did get a specific question. It said, Dear Alan, I just wanted to let you know that I am a long-term subscriber and how much I love your channel. Actually, I think you have the best reviews that I've ever seen on YouTube. Can I ask, if the Motion Plus bug in stereo is really fixed, have you tested it, question mark? Lots of love, mum. Well, I hadn't tested it. I just went by my ears. I did a quick left-right channel test. They sounded the same to me. I didn't bother going any further. So people are asking, is it really, 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 really fixed? What is happening when you select one EQ on the master speaker? What is really happening in the other speaker? Can we safely say it's done? Thank you, Anchor. You've listened. We needed it fixed. They've done it. So I have tested it. What I've actually done is I've made sure only one speaker has my custom settings. So this is actually my master speaker. I've put my custom settings in and on the other speaker, that which becomes a slave speaker, I've set it to flat. So not, not, not decibels, it's flat across the custom EQ setting. I've set everything with each other speaker off so they can't interfere with each other. And then I've gone into my app. I've turned them both on and I've tested what is happening individually left and right. So while they're in stereo, I'm doing separate tests on the left speak, on the left channel and the right channel so it's telling me while they're connected, what is actually going on. So I set my master speaker, the left channel, to custom, my custom settings, expecting the slave to pick up those exact settings. I measured them separately, left and right. These are the frequency responses I obtained. They're different. I then switched to bass up to see what happened. They are basically now identical. So switching to bass up, they are both left and right, obtaining the same settings. I then switch back to custom settings on the master and they're different again. In fact, it's now exactly the same as when I first had custom settings, when I set it on the master speaker. First time, second time. So basically identical. They are not the same settings. And if you look closely at the bass up settings, so here we have bass up in stereo, left and right speakers. Now look at the right channel. It's the bass up mode. So actually, setting custom in the app. The left speaker picks up custom, the right speaker is picking up bass up. So the question now was, is it something to do with the way I'm setting the speakers? Don't forget, both speakers have different custom settings just so I could see exactly what happened, just to make sure the slave did pick up the exact settings from the master, which it isn't doing, but it's not actually picking up the custom settings either from the slave, it's picking up the bass up settings. I was thinking, is it something I'm doing in the way I'm switching? I then set each speaker to original. I set them separately. I turned each one off individually, set them to original, turned them off again. Turned on the master, set that to custom, then turned on the slave, which if you remember, the last setting it had was original. And the frequency response I now get is exactly the same again. So no matter what you do, when you have two speakers in stereo, the slave is defaulting to bass up. So I thought it was fixed. I didn't bother really testing it. It sounded like it was fixed in my ears. Everybody's saying big thumbs up, uh, Anchor. Yeah, it's not JBL. They listen to their users. They fixed it. Well, they did change something because it used to default on the slave speaker. When you set custom on your master, it went to bass off. It was really obvious that it wasn't the same setting. So if you listen to one speaker, if you went like that on one, that, that like that on the other, it was really obvious because there was no bass on one of the speakers. There was bass on the other speaker. So it was obvious. Now they have changed something because now it defaults to bass on. But they, what they didn't do is fix the bug. So it looks like to me, that you know, it's a workaround. Maybe they really have a problem working out if you set 
custom EQ on one speaker, defaulting to that spe to that setting as well in the slave. And is the problem that when you then turn both speakers off, it's now got the custom settings from the other speaker? Or can they not work out how to play custom settings on both speakers at the same time? Remembering, originally, you couldn't save any settings on the, in the, using the EQ in the app to the speaker. It was a firmware update that allowed us the custom settings we had put in our EQ to save them to firmware. So clearly, it's not a straightforward matter for Anchor getting this right. So while it's not as obvious now, because it's not base off, it's base on, so it's not terrible, terrible, but it means you're not getting the highs on one speaker that you're getting on the other if you set your custom EQ to anything like mine. So just wanted to let you know, I did test it. The bug is not fixed, but it's not quite as dramatic as before because it's going to base up rather than base off. Uh, maybe if we keep on to anchor, they really will fix it if indeed they can. So hope this was interesting to you and thank you for watching. UK.